Hey friends, today I am back at the Antique Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. I had a video just a couple of days ago I posted where we came out here to look at some Disney World Resort furniture, some Disney World memorabilia, also Universal Studios, and I asked if you guys think I should come back out and just kind of do a browsing around video and you said yes so here we are I'm gonna see if they have anything new Disney World or Universal Studios and also check out any of the other vintage cool stuff that they have in the different boots so let's go do this if you guys haven't seen my previous video you should definitely go back and check it out there was a lot of nifty stuff and most of that's probably gone because the video did very well so people have seen it and probably came and bought it up but we'll see if there's anything new and that's what i'm looking for i'm just excited to be here we are going to start in the front of the store and then make our way back to the back where most of the Disney World furniture and basically all the furniture is and also some of the Disney World props. But there's a lot of really cool stuff up here I want to show you, including Marilyn Monroe statue right here. Look at that. I've noticed a lot of old vintage Pinocchio figures. Look at that old Pinocchio figure. That's really, really nifty. Also in the back, there's an Adventureland piece of art. The Adventureland art is $95. I don't know what significance it has, but it looks very nifty. A lot of Jungle Cruise happening in there. Also take a look at that Pinocchio doll right here. That is old, $129. I think it's a wooden Pinocchio in a glass. And up here, if you're a fan of movie memorabilia, the Wolf on Wall Street, this scene right here with the uh, midget tossing they have the actual helmets that is pretty awesome five hundred dollars for the pair of them i can tell you what this place is a lot busier than the last time i visited here maybe it's because it's a friday and when i came last time i think it was a tuesday so if you plan on coming come during the weekdays and I talked to the people up front and they said that there are lots of cool nifty Disney prop things back here. So I came back and the first thing I see is this barrel. Now, you guys might not know what this barrel's from, but if you read and look at the picture, it is an original prop barrel from Pirates of the Caribbean for $200. That is awesome. I don't know about those heads, but this is amazing. It opens up too. Look at that. So they probably use this to hide something like they do with the fire hydrants. Also take a look at these really cool plates. The Grand Floridian dinner plate prop. Wow, that's awesome. Also they have the Yacht and Beach Club ones, $50. They are beautiful plates though. They also have this framed all-star resort framed art right here. I like this a lot. This is actually a beautiful piece. Only $75. I, I might be interested in this one actually. Right here is the actual tag for that. Disney Worldwide Shared Services All-Star Movie Room Rehab Artwork. Wow. I think I'm going to get this for $75. I really like it. There are a lot of items that I have seen here last time that are completely gone already. Like most of all of it's gone and it's good to see new stuff in already. So that means that they actually constantly replenish. They have a Magic Kingdom cast member coat for up at the front of the entrance. It's only $35, but this is really, really cool. This is actually a mannequin display from Hollywood Studios, like in the windows. I like that. <laughs> they also have this hidden Mickey merchandise display rack. This was actually used in one of the merchandise spots. $150, it's pretty big. Probably good for like a good jewelry hanger. And they have more actual Disney resort framed art. So this one is contemporary in Bay Lake for $35. And then Animal Kingdom Lodge, original hand painted art right back there. That one's $95. And then you look down here, tons of cool Saratoga Springs ones, $35. And lots more Animal Kingdom ones. They have plenty of them. That's really nifty. And I like how they give you a photo to show you where the picture was. Tons of actual resort Christmas still actually here, including these large ornaments. I don't know where they're actually from. 
eighty dollars. That's really awesome. That's a cruise line Christmas wreath. That's pretty. And then they have this framed Disney Springs prop shirt. This was from the World of Disney. I like that a lot too. Fifty dollars for that. Take a look at these cool Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster balls. If you're a fan of Disney Quest, you know what these are. Twenty-five dollars a piece. What an awesome deal for an actual piece of an attraction at Disney Quest. Another really nifty thing are these Hollywood Studios hidden Mickey signs. $45 and you got yellow and green. There's a lot more stuff I want to show off, but I want to head back to where some of the Disney like big furniture items are first. Just to see what they have because it's getting a lot busy and I don't know if people are going to come and take stuff. So I want to see what they have first, you know? <laughs> And I'm happy I came back because look at this. Grand Floridian leather bar stools. That is awesome. You have two of them. And I believe they're $150. That's amazing though. And then over here, we still have one beaches and cream chair left and a new Wilderness Lodge Resort patio chair. The Toy Story prop is still there though. I'm not sure why anybody would want this or what they can use it for, but somebody will buy it. It is a Animal Kingdom luggage cart. That is crazy. $75 for a nifty little project. And over here, we also have some Wilderness Lodge prop framed art and room mirrors right from the Wilderness Lodge Resort. Very pretty. In the back here, they have Epcot Flower and Garden display signs for $50, and it's pretty large. And this one is actually a Wilderness Lodge bathroom mirror. That's really nifty. I think those Grand Floridian bar stools are such a great find, but they're very big and probably hard to move. I would love to have those. For Halloween Horror Nights, we have some more prop signs, and also, up on top right here they have a halloween horror night tabletop prop from the r.i.p event that's actually a really cool piece 200 dollars. Ooh, they also have amulet of fear interactive lanyard this is a magnet 45 dollars these are really really nifty these are universal studios stickers camp jurassic green eggs and ham Wow, I like these a lot. And then down here you have some more Halloween Horror Nights, Marvel Superhero Island. Wow, these are really awesome. $10 a piece. I like those. A lot of people asked about the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom sign. That's actually from the Universal Studios Jurassic World gift shop area. $400 and was in there actually. Most of the figures from the Spooky Empire are actually all gone, all sold out. Look at that. Only three of them are left. I was trying to figure out what was behind the Pirates of the Caribbean barrel, and finally there was a little sign I found, and the sign actually tells you where it's at, and it's where I thought it was. This whole entire setup is actually from the Pirates of the Caribbean store which is where they do the Pirates of the Caribbean League where they dress up the kids as pirates. That's a really nifty piece. Now I want to kind of browse around to the other little boots and stands and see what they have. Some of them have some amazing stuff that's not Disney related and some of them have some amazing Disney stuff and just really cool antiques. Look at all these super old Disney figurines right here. Wow. They are like really really cool and up top here they have an actual town square friends do you remember these they have snow white and the three drawer doors and then mother baby and stroller a family winnie the pooh the tour guides engineers i like those a lot there's a lot of old school Disney plushes and actually I'm on the lookout for maybe a Splash Mountain one. You know, those are very popular now. <laughs> that right there is an awesome Festival of the Lion King Lion plush. I like that a lot. And then you can see some of the really cool Mickeys that they have here, including this Mickey right here. Look at that. It's only $4. So many nifty ones over here. Some old vintage seven dwarves 
and their packaging in the background I like those a lot too just tons of cool knickknacks lots of very cool Disney cast member awards like this one right here from 2008 and then you have the ESPN wide world of sports one there Ooh, and over here the 2000 millennium cast member clock Ooh, and I like this one too very nifty stuff I don't know why but I love this Marilyn Monroe picture if you bought that statue it would go great with that picture and they have tons of really nifty things in here Abraham Lincoln over in the corner here we've got Pennzoil barrels wow so many nifty things I like this phone that's a little fancy wouldn't you say it's kind of funny because when I came here, I thought I wasn't going to be able to have a lot of Disney merchandise to show you because I thought that most of it might have been sold out already, but I was wrong. I was, I was way wrong. So now I just have tons and tons of footage, so I don't know what I'm going to put in or not, but one thing I did want to do, and I'm sorry I'm fogging up, is I wanted to kind of give you just a bird's eye walking view through the store itself so you can kind of browse around yourself and see what they have. Obviously, we're gonna go down just like one aisle a lot of different pop Funkos there And then if you just keep looking like I said so many amazing knickknacks like <laughs> a Lot of them license plates figurines old Mickey's old China dolls tons and tons Don't even know where to begin Huh and it's put together really, really nice. I have to say that. It's not like a big mess up, you know? And you got more down that way, more down that way. Like I said, it's literally row after row after row of hidden treasures. Things just keep popping out at me. Like I keep on getting drawn into these little tiny areas where you just see so much interesting stuff. And I'm like, honestly, this is one of the coolest stores I've ever been to. This section looks pretty amazing right here. I mean, wow. Look at all of the nifty items. It's like circus themed and human anatomy also it's a little strange oh what is this what is that i'm gonna have to get a take a see giant mouse from storyland amusement parks once located in georgia 499 dollars that's a really cool find actually and with that i think i am done i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to come check it out i'll put the address in the descriptions below so you can look it up yourself i'm leaving with my all-star movies uh fantasia picture i really liked that i thought it was a great deal and uh i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it so we'll see you next time bye